Japan gets some of the coolest items when it comes to Pokemon. And how are you going to get that stuff over here? You don't live in Japan. Services may be confusing with setting up like mailboxes and forwarding addresses. But that's okay because today we're unboxing some Pokemon Scale World figures that came from Mecha Japan. <laughs> Welcome back to the channel, Pokemaniacs. Today, I've got some really cool figures that we're opening up. I bought these from MechaJapan.com. Not affiliated with them. I purchased these with my own money, but wanted to do an unboxing because we love Pokemon unboxings. And I wanted to share my experience with them just in case you're curious about how to get some stuff from Japan over to the US. So if this is the first time you're joining me, I'm Pokemaniac Steven, and here we love Pokemon. So we cover everything from Pokemon figures, Pokemon tips and tricks, and Pokemon card openings. So if you love Pokemon, make sure you are subscribed to catch all of the videos. But today, we are opening up this Japanese product here. We've got the Pokemon Scale World figures. These things are fantastic. This is actually my first unboxing of these they just look amazing so we're gonna be getting into that plus i've got some additional stuff that i got with my package that i just kind of want to show off so taking it down here to the hand camera i am a pidgeot fan and i wanted to continue increasing my collection so i picked up these stickers along with some other items so these again mecha japan fantastic shipping they do everything through paypal so hopefully i don't know if that makes that easier worse for you but <laughs> great shipping everything comes just very well packaged and uh, very quickly considering that it's crossing an entire ocean now i have a goal this year to increase my pidgey pidgeotto pidgeot collection so i bought these pens as well from pokemon center uh, through mecha japan but they are officially licensed products and you can kind of see that like pidgeot design there he's got the big he's got the hair but uh, also we've got our uh, pidgey here in no particular order, I'm just kind of throwing these out there, but super cool pens. I don't know if I'm ever going to use them because they're collector's items for me, but still, I would just enjoy that I have them, and I got them from Japan, so super cool. As you can see, I also have some other figures from Japan, and I have used Mecha Japan to pick up these figures back here, these two, for uh, remint, so you're into those again mecha japan is just a great i can't uh, i can't express how good they are so here we go with the actual unboxing this is what you guys came for this right here pokemon scale world we're going to open this up and see everything that's inside and kind of check out in greater detail what things kind of look like are they fragile was it really worth the money all right so these all came in individual boxes i didn't realize that they did that so we're going to be going box by box to see what's inside each one. So, coming up in this first box, I'm assuming is going to be Pidgey, Magikarp, and Rattata, but we'll find out. Unfortunate that it's all kind of like glued together, but, you know, whatever. Oh yeah, I forgot. Japanese toys always come with this piece of candy. But, here we go with all of this. It's all... I'm going to have to get the knife back out, but let's rip open all this plastic. All right, so in the box, we got everything from, like, this Magikarp here. <laughs> that, was a funny, that was a funny view. Uh, but also, we've got our Ratatat, which all of these are, like, very tiny, which I kind of love because, like the name it suggests, it is scale world, so everything is to scale. And we've got this Pidgey, which is also incredibly small. So it's just really cool to see, like, the size difference between a Ratatat and a Pidgey which also then compared to the Magikarp, like Magikarp would devour a Pidgey. Also in this one, we got like little uh, patches of grass that we can uh, like create a little like display for. So there's that, and then it comes with these little like stand things. You can put the Magikarp in there, and then it makes it look like he's like kind of jumping out from behind the, gla the grass like that. This angle, not great, but you can start to create like a whole scene about uh, like what's going on. You know, Magikarp's jumping from behind the grass. You got like this Pidgey and Rattata in front of it. All right, that was the first box. Now we're gonna get into this second box, which should be pretty cool based on the front of the box. And safety disclaimer, I said I was using a knife. In retrospect, scissors are a much better and uh, safer option if uh, you're opening these up. All right, so we have some slightly bigger figures now. We've got our Vulpix here, which looks fantastic. It actually has like a matte look to it and then just I don't know, it, like looking at it, I'm like, does this have fur? <laughs> kind of weird. So 
There's our Vulpix, fantastic. And then we've also got this Jolteon, which honestly I was a little aggressive with these and they are pretty firm. It's gonna be really embarrassing if I break this on camera, but pushing pretty decently on there. Like there's like a little bit of flex, but these are really well built. Like for small little figures like this, I wouldn't have anticipated there being quite as much uh, like handiwork to it, I guess, to try to get some uh, durability out of them. All right, getting into box three, got these bad boys. Starting off with this Oddish though. Looking super cute, it's, it's way tiny. Let's compare this to the Pidgey though. I don't know, I always imagine like Oddish being so much smaller. So it's just interesting to see like the, the different sizes, mostly mostly these leaves on top of Oddish's head. But again, very durable. I'm trying to push down on that. A little bit of flex, but like very solid. Let's see, and does not stand on its own. So it did actually come with this like little clear stand. Flip it onto his feet, clip it in, kind of like that. There you go, now all of a sudden it can stand. But then looking at this Vaporeon, which honestly looks super sweet. Uh, this seam right here though, kind of bugs me that it's like a whole separate piece. I, I kind of like having a difficulty unseeing that, but very nice overall. Like from the front, like the silhouette of it looks fantastic. Even from behind it looks good. Like, I don't know. The Eeveelution's always some favorites. We just recently got the Bear Walker skateboards that came out, so. Eevee's very popular, but moving on into box number four. And I completely forgot in box number four that we got a Ditto. Ditto's amazing. And I also forget how small Ditto is. <laughs> so super cool to have that. Uh, I just noticed also that there's a, a Pokemon imprinting on the back. So just FYI, in case you know that might bug you. There's a little Ditto guy, super cool. Put him down and then we've got our Flareon. So we've got all three of the Cantonian Eeveelutions. There's a little bit of seam right through the tail going up the middle. and uh, But not too bad. That one's like a little bit more discreet, I feel like. That one's a little bit harder to see. So Flareon looking great. I, honestly, for some reason, the Vaporeon is like probably my favorite out of these three, even though I'm more of like a Flareon Jolteon kind of guy. This looking really good and yeah, very solid. This, the ears have a little flex, but this is a very solid figure. So, let's get into box number five. And this is it. And this is our dude right here. The one that I've been waiting for this whole time. Pidgeot himself. I really want to get the Mega Pidgeot figure, because he's like even bigger. I'll pull out, uh, I'll pull out the Pidgey just so you can kind of compare. <laughs> but, oh, he is a, he's a solid boy right there. The hair, also tons of product in there. That's not going anywhere. Lots of, he's got best gel in the business. Tail feathers also, yeah, this is a figure right here. Like this is a statue, honestly. So it does come with this little stand. So let's see, I mean, he stands on his own. So I'm not sure, let's uh, try to figure this out. Is that how you do it? Yeah, I don't know how this stand works, but it came with it. But then, compared to Pidgey, so Pidgey yeah, grows up quite a bit. This is, uh, that's an evolution. Now, it's time for the final box. Now we've got the man, the myth, the legend, Gary Oak. Although, on the box it doesn't label him as green, which is kind of weird. Uh, I opened up uh, one of the Nendoroid figures of Gary, I'm gonna call him Gary. Uh, but they also labeled him as green. So I always understood green as being the female character. So I don't know. Something probably lost in translation or uh, just the franchise has kind of changed over time. But this is the man right here wearing his uh, freaking his really sweet jacket, his weird cargo pants. Very close to his outfit that he wears in Pokemon Masters. So if you haven't played that game, great game. Again, no points of articulation, but fairly solid. Uh, let's try to break his legs here. Yeah, not going anywhere. His head does kind of move a little bit, but I don't want to mess with that. So let's see if he stands on his own. He does, but he also comes with a stand just in case because he is a little bit wobbly. Shackle his feet in. There you go. Much more stable by doing, putting him into those uh, weird clear shackles. But I also need to compare green, I guess, to Pidgeot, which looking at this, they're about the same height which is kind of cool to see. 
So like, I know he's not like six foot tall or anything. I think he's he's definitely in the five foot range. So kind of cool to just really realize like how tall Pokemon can be. But also great job Pidgeot because you're like carrying dudes on your back like that. That's a lot of people. All right, and there we go. That is this whole unboxing for these Scale World figures. Again, I bought these from Mecha Japan. I'll have a link down below, not an affiliate, at least at the time of filming. So if you want to check out more figures from them, you can go ahead and do that. If you want to check out more openings of figures from me, go ahead and check out this playlist over here. Make sure you subscribe to catch more videos from me. Take care of each other out there, and I'm going to see you very soon on the next one.